so guys, it's time for Secret Saturday. If you are unaware of what this series is all about, basically, I just tell you a bunch of factual secrets. Something that you may not know about me. For this week, I would like to confess that I believe in ghosts. <laughs> like, I have believed in ghosts pretty much my whole life. And I know a lot of people are probably thinking, wow, you are so stupid. Who believes in ghosts? That's not scientific, Sarah. We know you like science. I do. I have since I was a small kid. I've had a lot of really, really weird things happen to me that I can't explain. And I know I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a few. I'll tell you a few and you guys may be able to debunk them. Who knows? Maybe I'll stop blaming you ghosts. <laughs> I can watch any type of scary movie, zombies, vampires, werewolves, big bears oh my <laughs> anything that's scary i can play anything scary but if it's ghost related i will get scared the only movie that has legitimately scared me was the grudge i still get scared not the second one okay they didn't do as well of a job on the second one but the first one i still get scared there's a part where she like is in the covers with you you know how like the covers are kind of like where you can hide from everything in every other movie ever. Well, that bitch is all up in your covers. So I'll be like laying in bed sometimes at night and I'll just peek under. <laughs> under the are you in there? That bitch, that bitch is scary. Okay, let's talk about some of these stories. Now, if you can debunk these, please do so in the comments below. It would be amazing if, if I was not afraid of ghosts. Just think of all the things that I could do completely non-afraid of ghosts. Watch all of the ghost movies, not be afraid that a ghost would consume my soul and take over my body through possession. <laughs> the most memorable thing that has ever happened to me that I just can't explain it happened when I was 13 and my grandmother passed away. She had left her home to us in her will and so we moved into this new house. I think it was about, I don't know, a, m a month into us living there, <laughs> something would fall over in my room. I'm telling you something heavy, really heavy, would fall over in my room every single night at exactly three in the morning. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, oh, why or if somebody else was doing it but I have made my whole family swear that none of them has ever come into my room and did this but it happened for about two weeks straight and I'm saying that these things are items that animals could not push over because I know some of you are thinking Sarah you're an animal person you probably had animals back then like you do now no I'm talking about like my TV fell over once and when I mean fell over there I had it on like a table that had this much diameter all the way around the TV and it would go off the like I had this really heavy 50 pound mirror <laughs> that that grandma left me and it fell off and almost it was on my dresser and fell off and almost broke every single night exactly 3 a.m. I know this because something heavy would wake up I had a clock by me and I would be like what the fuck getting up like what the hell is that noise and then i would look at the clock and be like well, fuck, what time it is there's also this one time <laughs> that's in this house that happened probably about eight months ago i should probably note that i'm someone who likes to sleep with some type of electronic on well on this night i decided that i was not going to do that i told myself Sarah, you're always such a pansy. Having to have a little nightlight on. How old are you? <laughs> Grow up. So, I, I I turned everything off. I turned everything off. It was incredibly quiet. Have you ever just laid in bed and you slowly wake up because you he you hear something, right? Like you hear something. You're just listening to it. I know it 
makes a noise, what is it? So I heard, I heard the sound, right? And I start to wake up to the point where I am actually awake and I'm laying in bed with my eyes closed, listening, and I hear something calling my name. Oh, okay. Sometimes Trish comes into my room and she wakes me up so that we can go get food or hang out, make videos, yada, yada, yada. And I sit up straight in my bed, just up, and I look around and nothing is there. Nothing. Still thinking that it could have possibly been Trish, I get up out of my bed and I walk to the door I go across the hallway and I look into Trisha's room and she is asleep, sound asleep. Now I know some of you are probably like, Trisha's a troll, -la 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 -la. she just did that and jumped in her bed and went to sleep. That is the one thing that Trish will not joke about. She does not mess with me when it comes to ghosts because she knows I freaks out. I freaks out. I freaks it out so she she won't mess with me when it comes to ghosts so I don't know what the fuck that is but I know that I was awake laying in my bed with my eyes closed listening to something call out my name and it still creeps me the fuck out so those are two situations that have happened to me I could write a whole book of weird shit that has happened in my life that I can't explain maybe I'll make it my own little ghost story series or something and you guys can debunk all of my crazy weird things <laughs> but uh yeah if you can debunk those things let me know in the comments below uh if you guys believe in ghosts also i like to know that do you think it's stupid to believe in ghosts do you believe in ghosts have you had any weird shit happen to you let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoy this type of video, you like the secret Saturdays and everything, please let me know by hitting that like button. It really does help me decide what I'm going to upload. I don't have a lot of time um, with my new job and everything, so those likes, they really help me determine what I should put up on my channel. So I do appreciate it. I'm just hitting that little like button to let me know. But as always, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!